Hey guys, Paul, Inventor 3 here. Uh, I'm just going to show you this real quick. Uh, this is something I was working on last week. It's just a diode chain here. Uh, there's another one I have up here too. There's 18 diodes. Uh, they're all in series. I hope you can hear me okay over my jet heater. I don't want to turn it off. It's just way too cold out there today. If I turn it off for five minutes, I'll probably take another half hour warming it back up anyhow so real quick here uh, uh, about this diode chain and I just watched a video with the WAN uh, T-H-E-W-O-N-N and we've been watching each other for many years too another good guy and he happened to point out and he's absolutely correct this is a Stifler loop it's a Dr. Stifler loop uh, it's an Avramenko plug. Uh, anyhow, just a string of diodes. Now this, uh, I can't move the camera around that much. We're very, very close to my secret sauce right now. Uh, the part that I never show you guys, which is simple, but anyhow. It's radiating a lot of energy right now, and so that's why I have this here. Uh, I got 18 diodes, uh, they're like 12 inches from one end to the other end. Uh, now I've compressed this whole string smaller together and the results are not as good. So I stretched them out and it's very good now, a lot more energy it picked up, but if I keep stretching it out no it's not going to keep getting better and what if i keep adding more diodes on the end no it gets does not get better for me in my situation either so there's like a limit to how many diodes i could have on here before the voltages start dropping back down uh now i've also been trying to get this little motor here running and it's a low voltage motor, I'll show you. I have not been able to get it to run yet, and it's kind of pissing me off. But anyhow... <laughs> it's over two and a half volts each LED. They're lit up very nicely. So then I tried this row of uh, diodes in series with this one no good i've tried it in parallel see if i can get more power to get the motor to run and no no good so we're just gonna move on from that right now i i wound up getting uh solar panels the new solar panels we're gonna try those uh give me one second here i'll show you something on my power supply unit all right, there's that little motor. I got it hooked up to my power supply unit here. Oh, you can see, I had this down to one volt a minute ago. What the heck? That's probably why this is fluctuating. I can't go any lower. <laughs> But anyhow, it works at like just one volt. There you go, one volt. It's spinning right now. 156 milliamps. That's not much. I shouldn't have any problem getting that sucker to run. So anyhow, so today I'm going to be, I don't know, hopefully this will go on the same video or not, but I've got these solar panels now. They, uh, they fit right in there pretty nicely, covering one panel. And I got a bunch of these for each square here. 
This is uh, 12 volts, 3 watts. I figured that's 250 milliamps. Uh, we can connect these in series and in parallel if we want to get whatever we want. Uh, there should be no problem getting that little motor to spin. But anyhow, alright guys, uh, we'll be back.